In this video, gonna be repairing the Sony DCR TR Feed 340. And the problem with this particular camcorder was when I got it, someone went ahead and I guess tried to do a pinch roll job on this one. They mistimed the mechanism and ended up crunching gears. It's just a little fortunate this transport's beyond any repair. You can see I already kind of borrowed parts from it to use on other transports already anyway. But thankfully, I was able to get another one. It's a lesser model, one about the high eight and eight millimeter playback, but it has the same head shock in it. So, so I'm hoping this transport will actually work in this, but it is the same transport and everything else. Connections, everything's the same. So I don't see why it should not work, but we'll go ahead and see. But either way it goes, I run this for nine bucks. The problem with this particular camcorder was someone actually burned the LCD. It wasn't dropped, nothing. And I'll show you what I mean. It's kind of actually funny because when I looked at a picture, it looked way worse, but someone kind of did this job to the LCD only for some reason. So, and like I said, this one only has digital eight playback. So I'd rather get the 340 working. So transports could go into this chassis right here. All right, so of course you can see all the bits and pieces you gotta do to take this to get it apart. So not the easiest job, but the whole idea is put that transport in there and hope she'll work and we'll see. I know the transport definitely does work because I did test it before pulling it out. So I wouldn't waste any time just in case. Hopefully we'll get this one in that camcorder and it'll be fully functional again. The reason why you have to have the PCB camera assembly and everything apart, pretty much tearing this camera completely apart, is because there's three screws on the back that hold the transport, and one right up here, this one, and this one right here that has to come out, and then it just slides out that way, pretty much. So I went ahead and finished installing the transport main board, viewfinder, and the camera assembly, and so forth, just to give you an inside look. These connectors also do tend to give you problems too as well. So usually take them out and re-seen them and does fix the issue. But thankfully the transport was the same. So I'm hoping it will work. I'm not sure yet. But there you go. And then here's what it looks like on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this reassembled at least with the LCD on and stuff. And we're going to test fire and hope it works. So I went ahead and assembled it enough at least plugged in the LCD and so forth and the power just to see if it works. This was the old busted up mechanism and the new ones inside, of course. So I'm hoping it works. It's the same mechanism, pretty much same revision. So I don't see why it shouldn't. The heads are even the same. So let's just go ahead and just see if we can open. Let me close this up here because I don't want to break that LCD and then <laughs> end up doing it all for nothing pretty much. Okay, hold on, this goes right here. And that's a very good sign. We'll not take a tape whatsoever at all, so. Okay. Let's see if it accepts and the head's spinning up. I'm liking this so far. Sounding normal. Yep. Okay, I didn't see no air codes pop up to these other. Okay, let's go ahead and it's kind of hard to do when you're doing this one hand itself. So. Uh, okay, and let's just put this in the VCR mode. I hope it works. Uh, okay, let's just go for it. No air codes. Uh, once again, no. Oh, wait, there you go. It's working. Yes! Ah, oh, good. So it is the same transport, and that's what I suspected. I suspected on the non um, high eights and eights that it's the same heads and stuff like that because I looked at the heads and they're exactly the same. So, his. This is a relief. I got the one that I wanted working. Okay. Yeah, and picture is pretty clear. And I'm so happy right now because this is the one I wanted to use because I'm going to use it to do digital 8 transfers and so forth. And some high 8s and 8 because you can use the FireWire to actually transfer it over to my MacBook Pro, which works better instead of having 
to do it analogly where you go in and have generation loss and all that. Okay, you know, the only thing I notice is, oh, there you go, I am seeing nonsense. But it's working, I can't complain. And that mechanism sounds perfect. There's no crack spindles or anything like that. Like I said, the one I pulled this out doesn't have very many hours. We'll take a look at it after I get done putting this fully back together. But this transport didn't have no pretty much no hours on it. It's just someone for some odd reason melted the LCD and I don't get why. But good, it works. So I'm gonna go and get it all the way back together now. Finish reassembling the Sony DCR TRV340 digital handycam. And yes, this does do eight and high eight playback. That's why I really want to actually fix this thing. So thankfully it does work. I did test it off camera and stuff and everything works fine. I figured I'll go and show you what it looks like in one piece instead of a million pieces. There you go, and that's the other side there. And then the ports and stuff like that are actually down over here. And there you go for your S-Video, your audio, video cable plugs in there, and then there's your DV in and out. Okay, and I'll show you. It is actually still functioning too, why not? You can see the viewfinder there. Should switch over soon to, yep, and there you go, it is the switch. It does play back digitally too, because I tried it. And there you go, and then if we open it up, we should get audio and uh, LC. And there you go. Thankfully, the audio is actually pretty clear on this. This is actually the part where the tape got chewed up in the C100. More on that later because I gotta fix that deck too as well, but I'm gonna go and fast forward to the something that's actually a good spot, I don't think. There you go. Nice and working sounds obviously testing the camcorder and believe it or not. This tape was actually stuck in this very camcorder. So it could have been this one they were testing before the transport broke or a different one before this because obviously the transport was broken on this one, so who knows. But it is working, so that's a good thing. So let me go and show you fast scan and all that works too as well. And rewind. That's how it should sound nice and quiet. Now I'm going to show you how it sounds in actual fast mode now. Here, no clicking should sound nice and smooth because the spindles and everything are good on this. So this is a way a healthy transport for sound. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and go rewind. Okay, and then we'll go back to play. Okay, now we're at a blink spot of the... Oh wait, is that playing back something? Hold on. I saw it switch over. Oh yeah, my test recording when I was recording on this. Yep, and then there you go, so it works. And then we'll go and do another one. Okay, so I'll switch it back into there, the camera mode. And then, here you go. You see zoom works and everything, but let's go ahead and record. Testing, testing the Sony Digital 8 Handycam. Testing the Sony TRV 340. Just testing to see if this is recording, testing. Okay, and then we'll stop. Okay, and then we'll Go back. Okay. And then we'll go just. Let's just go backwards a little bit. Oh, 
Okay, and then we'll play it. That's probably the beginning right there. Come on. I don't hear no audio though. Oh, I should have heard audio. Oh, there you go. That's the second Testing, part. testing the Sony Digital 8 Handycam. Testing the Sony TRV. 340, just testing to see if this is recording, testing, okay, and then Yep, and it does play, um, digital 8 tapes and so forth, because I already tried it already, so. There you go, this concludes the video for the Sony Handycam DCR TRV 340. They do have a PAL and NTSC version, that's why it says NTSC right there. So there you go.